Okie dokie artichokies. Um, serious time. Uh, after my 18 minute rant video, I realized there was something I wanted to talk about, uh, specifically regarding um, psychic medium, healer, talented people, and the burden that comes along with that gift. Um, this is like the fifth time I've redone this because I keep forgetting stuff for talking too much. <laughs> um, I feel like uh, baggage is the word I keep using. I feel like there is a specific amount of baggage that that we have or that we take on, um, whether subconsciously or by choice, um, when we do our work. Um, especially giving readings to other people, um, other people who are already sad and dealing with their loss, coming to us to speak to somebody. Um, they always leave a little bit of that behind. Hopefully we can lighten them of that burden. That's that's always the goal um, to help people. But sometimes, you know, they leave a little bit of that behind. And it affects us. Um, that's why some people have specific sacred reading spaces that they cleanse. Um, sometimes, you know, you just kind of do stuff and forget to take care of ourselves. Let's be honest. Um, a lot of us indulge when we need to. Um, for me, when I'm ghost hunting, especially, it's Dr. Pepper, Good and Plenty's, and Beef Jerky. Awesome. Completely not healthy at all. Um, if I were going for a healthy alternative, I should be drinking the high protein, high iron, and sure drinks, but I'm not because Good and Plenty's are delicious. Uh, <laughs> um, and I really wish I could remember who told me this. I want to say it was my teacher, um, but I'm not sure. So I'm not going to name drop there. Um, but whoever it was said that medium specifically protect ourselves with a layer of fat. And I, I have to say that's true. Um, not because we mean to, but because it is one of those subconscious things that pushes people away. Um, our society, for all that we do to embrace the gay people, the transgendered, um, you know, everybody, we forget us. Um, you know, I would hope that we would embrace a teen exploring Wicca as much as we would embrace a teen exploring gender neutrality, but I know that that isn't true. I know that we are still cruel to those different from us. And of course, normally it's us that are different. Um, which is why we aren't open with that sort of thing till you're my age. Um, so yeah, the health problems, um, overweight, uh, forgetting to work out, um, indulging too much, sugar addiction, smoking, uh, drinking, um, indulging. I want to say indulging because it's that thing that makes you feel better. You know, whatever you do to indulge. Some people shop, over shop. There's totally that retail therapy. I can't afford that anymore. I really wish I could. I miss it. I miss shopping. Of course, shopping isn't buying. Totally different. Um, I, I, I want to basically say that you're not alone. There are people here who can help you if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling overwhelmed, um, if you're feeling heavy, if you're feeling burdened. Um, I don't know if it gets better, it gets different as we age, as we change, as we accept different parts of ourselves and learn new things and have new experiences. Um, I hope that one day, maybe 10 years down the road, that you know my kids will be of that age and society will be a little more accepting. That'd be awesome. That'd be super cool. Um, maybe by then they'll have proven that talent is hereditary and completely scientific. That'd be awesome! Um, I'm not holding my breath, but until that point, um, I would like to encourage all the students that are practicing and doing stuff to find a mentor, to find a teacher, to reach out and find a friend that is also practicing, because it's awesome to practice with buddies, you know, um, to have someone to talk to, because um, we don't normally talk to our parents about this sort of thing, you know. I just talked to this dead guy, and I'm feeling really super heavy because he was struggling with all these issues, and I'm questioning the things that I believe in regarding these issues. Um, do you mind just listening to me? I'm pretty sure my dad would walk away. Uh, <laughs> I'm 
No, I know that he would. Um, or he would tell me to talk to my mother. Oh. <laughs> um, some people uh, are certainly better listeners than others. And if you don't have someone, um, find somebody. Um, especially before it gets to the point where it gets to be too much. Because um, I've been there. And it's it really sucks. Um, suicide is not an option. And let me tell you why suicide is not an option. Um, suicide is like the reset button. Um, when I do readings for suicide victims, and I do like to use the word victims, even though it was their choice, um, people that commit suicide don't do it because they're weak. I think that is a, a huge fallacy that our society kind of stigmatizes that with. Um, suicide is a reset button. Um, reincarnation, dude. You just come back and you have to learn the same lessons over and over and over again. Um, but before you do that, uh, you have to pay your penalty. And a lot of people get confused by this because, like, they're going to hell. No, this does not mean you're going to hell. This means specifically that you are coming back as a spirit to pay penance. Um, and normally they will be assigned to someone that is in, was in a very similar situation as themselves and to help them to get through that point and to show them that there's more. Um, so, for example, if someone... Uh, committed suicide with drugs, um, then they would come back and help someone who is also dealing with drug issues or also dealing with, you know, suicide issues and help them through that point in their lives. And once they've paid their penance, reincarnation, you get to do the same thing all over again. But hopefully by helping those other souls or that other soul, um, you have learned enough to get through this time around. Um, for people that don't believe in reincarnation, that's fine. I am not offended by that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, totally not offended by that. Um, just, you know, ignore that part. Whatever. Uh, take what you want, leave the rest. You know, uh, I used to think that everyone had to think like me, you know, because there are certain things that I know. Uh, angels exist, yes. Uh, higher power exists, yes. Um, I can talk to dead people. Yep, dead people are all around, you know. Most of them are pretty cool. You know, ghosts exist. That's fine, you know. I've seen and done so much weird crap that at this point you could ask me if vampires exist and I would be like, probably. Aliens exist? Sure, why not? I mean, God, how can you be so close-minded to think that we're it? I mean, look how imperfect we are. I hope that somebody tried again, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean... I know witches exist, I've met witches, um, you know, as werewolves, why not? I mean, my dog is smarter than my kids, why not a werewolf, you know? I mean, why not? I, I have no proof to the contrary, um, so why not? You know, there are people that believe in fairies. I've never seen a fairy. That doesn't mean I can across the board entirely say there is no such thing as fairies. You will never hear me say that. Never! Um, just because I don't see them doesn't mean other people don't. I see dead people. Not everybody sees dead people. Like, hello. <laughs> um, so I'd absolutely encourage you to have a support base, be open-minded, um, and take care of yourself. I mean, you know, it's certainly not, oh, bug, sorry. It's certainly not my job to tell you um, what you're doing is wrong. Um, but I think in uh, some sense we all realize that we have better alternatives, whether it's healthier alternatives, um, you know, God, a lot of us have terrible relationships. Um, oh, go away, giant ant, go away. Um, and that's certainly our own paths to deal with. Uh, it took me a long time to realize that I deserve better. Oh, I don't want to kill you, but stop crawling by me. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. You're not alone. Um, you're welcome to message me, email me, you know. Uh, the Facebook stuff going live, I think, after this week. There's a few more videos I want to make. Um, I, you know, I just, I really want to let the teenage me know that you're not alone. So, uh, you know, I know that we all have struggles as we grow into who we are. And I wish that I had taken more time between being a teenager and a college student to figure out who I am. And uh, I was lucky to do a bit of that, really. Um, but I wish I had done more. So, yes, teenage me. 
We rock. We're awesome. There's nothing wrong with us. Find a better boyfriend. Please, God, stop dating that dude. Um, <laughs> work on yourself. Find awesome things. Take trips. Like, have adventures, dude. Take a million pictures of yourself because God knows you're never going to have that body again. I promise. Seriously. Take lots of pictures. Uh, do your makeup weird ways. Do your hair weird ways. Like, <sighs> have fun. Live life. Be awesome. Because you are. So, um, and if you're ever in need of help, now more than ever, you know, the internet is alive with wonderful people that you'll never meet in person. Um, confess to somebody, dude. Yep. You don't have to hold it all in. And I love you. Regardless of anything else, anything that anyone ever tells you, I love you. Right now, here, today, in this moment, you are loved and cherished and appreciated and awesome. Alright, so have a good day, guys. Love you.